question from Jared in Louisiana. He writes, I'm considering taking the plunge and buying my first Apple laptop. Of course, I'm looking at the MacBook and the MacBook Pro. My question is, if I were to go with the MacBook, would it be capable of editing 720p video that I shoot? Or would I have to go with the MacBook Pro? Also, do you recommend just using the iMovie that comes with the Mac, or should I buy more advanced video editing software? Note, I will only be editing home videos. Oh. That's how it starts. I right? hate iMovie. Oh. Okay. People either hate iMovie or snob. love iMovie, especially since they kind of did the, somebody at Apple kind of went, I think iMovie is too complicated and this whole massive interface like restructuring. Yeah, right? I hate it more now. You hate it even more now. <laughs> I, I, I say start out with iMovie because Final Cut Express and Final Cut Pro can be, especially Final Cut Pro, they're kind of overkill for basic editing. I say start out with iMovie and when you start realizing like there's stuff you want to do that you can't do with iMovie, then move on to Final Cut Pro or Final if Cut Express. If you're just doing home movies, iMovie would be fine. Right. It'll really be fine. If you if or, you can figure it out, if that's if it's if it's all you've ever used, if you haven't gone from if you haven't started with Final Cut, now you're going back into iMovie. See, that's right. where I get all caught up because I learned how to edit on Final Cut Pro, and so I know this sounds like a total snobby, douchey thing to say, <laughs> but going back to iMovie is like really complicated for me. Like it doesn't yeah. do the things I want it to do. But mo I mean, most people like you know, there's there's certain things where like try this application. It's like well, I learned in these Stone Age applications with traditional timeline. Layouts that mm -hmm. are basically used, you know, based on the Avid timeline. So, yeah, you know, I mean, look, it, start with iMovie. If you don't like it, spend the money for Final Cut Express, right? It's, it's just that's a, that's a nice way to go. That way, you don't spend an extra hundred bucks right. and go like, I don't use ninety-eight percent of the features in this, you know, because so much of editing is like, you know, where do you cut it? How do you do the transitions? Please keep the transitions mm -hmm. simple. No star wipes. I would just suggest getting the MacBook Pro because it's it's like two hundred dollars more. Right. And it's going to give you more processing power, more, memory. more hard drive space, more, more memory. memory. Yeah, so it seems more like memory. a good, good kind of choice to make. Yeah, the same rules pretty much apply to the Windows. Windows Movie Maker, which is not inside Windows Seven, you have to download it after you activate uh, Windows Seven. That's so 7. weird that they did that. I think they did it just because they want people to sort of activate and get the extra treats. Maybe they just wanted, uh, yeah, it is weird. Okay. Whatever, it's it's Microsoft, they do what they do. Um, before you upgrade to something like Corel's Video Studio or, or Adobe's Premiere, I love Adobe Premiere. A lot of a people lot of like Premiere a lot. They, they, Adobe Premiere is the only application in the history of Adobe that they ever scrapped the code base and started over fresh, and they did amazing, amazing things to it, because it used to be a nightmare. Um, and there's trial versions of both uh, Premiere and Corel. Yeah, so see what out. kind of feels right with your workflow and, and just like the interface that you like the best. Yeah. It's what about, kinda, oh, wait. All about trying it out. Is there a firewire port in the MacBook now? I Quick, think. find a MacBook. <laughs> mine, mine has a firewire, but I don't know if the newer Mac, my, my MacBook Pro has firewire. MacBook Pros all have firewire, MacBook but I don't Pros. think the MacBooks do. That could be a problem if your video camera only has a firewire output. Yeah. Unless you want to go from like that to your desktop to your notebook, which I don't think you're probably doing. Oh, I hate that. Every yeah. port should be available on every machine forever. <laughs> unless, they have, unless it records to cards, yeah, I guess you'd have to. If it records to cards, if it was a hard drive card. camcorder. Like a, so that's an additional yeah, that wrinkle, like, like wrinkle to think about in there. <laughs> um, and I guess like if you want the ultimate editing experience, you definitely get like the the Mac Pro, the desktop. Except mm -hmm. that they're so expensive for what you get. I know they're super expensive. And there's no Core i7. And yet, they're not although, portable. So unless you're planning true. like a really big editing suite, you <laughs> don't need a Mac Pro. Maybe a MacBook Pro because it'll last you for a while. It'll last you several years, and you'll get a lot yeah. out of it. And the 13-inch you know, version of it, which you can attach to a big external monitor, is That's not that much I'm more expensive. That's what I'm going to get as soon as I upgrade. Yeah, don't buy anything now, by the way. Oh. Now would not be a good time to buy Notebook a laptop board? from Apple. Okay. No. When, don't when buy are, a laptop from Apple. When are you estimating Apple. the arrival of the new? I think they're making an announcement next month. So. Next month. I would give it a couple months before you, mm. unless you're really, really desperate. I hate now. that. I know. Well, I've been waiting forever. My computer is like, <laughs> it needs Yours an upgrade. Yours is only like two years old. It's three years old. Oh, it's three years old. Yeah. Well, that's all the difference. 